Hi, my name is Christian from Trevola, trading with know-how and transparency. Today we want to talk about inflation. In general, what is inflation? What is the actual, actual situation at the moment? What are reasons uh, for inflation? And how you can protect your own money, your own investment um, against inflation. Just make sure if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming videos, subscribe here to our channel, leave a comment and a like. We would be happy um, to yeah, discuss any of your topics in one of our next uh, videos. Yeah, inflation in general or the inflation rate just expresses um, how much more you pay for goods or other services um, comparing to last year. Usually it's one year. But it just indicates um, the price change of the same good in a certain period of time. For example, if you have $100 um, and you buy for $100 um, something, can you buy the same amount um, next year? This is, uh, for example, or how much more you pay the next year is the, indicates the percentage of inflation. Normally, central banks, they take care that inflation is not too high. At the moment, it's quite difficult as we all know from the news, uh, but to this topic we will come here later. And um, yeah, most important also to remember, if you don't put your money in any account where you get interest or some uh, benefits, um, then your money will lose um, exactly the percentage of inflation in value because you can't buy the same thing like one year ago. How is the situation? Was Corona one of the reasons for inflation? Actually, in most countries, this was not the case. Uh, for example, in Germany, um, energy prices was uh, quite low. For example, oil, if you remember at the beginning, dropped to the lowest um, price for a long period of time. And also in some countries, uh, the tax, the VAT was uh, decreased so that the um, prices for many goods uh, were, in this uh, case, cheaper. How is the situation now with Ukraine? Ukraine is a special situation, especially or not only especially for Europe, but the inflation in the whole world is now quite high. What is the reason? Um, many countries are depending on gas from Russia or also oil, and now um, with the war itself, um, it's not allowed to buy any of this gas or, or oil from Russia, and this um, yeah was one reason why the inflation increased so much. And also, we don't know how it will be in the future. That's also for prices and for the markets um, always something what is um, yeah, dangerous and what um, will yeah, lead to an um, increase of the inflation. So what can be reasons uh, for inflation? First of all, it can be that there are not enough products, uh, means the lack of products. Um, so prices will increase because uh, there's um, more demand than what we have um, or what it's able to, uh, to offer at the moment. And on the other hand side, it's not only lack of um, um, services or goods, it's a very high demand. What we don't have at the moment in the situation with Ukraine, it's just more the first part uh, where it's not enough, um, most probably not enough um, goods or not enough gas, gas available. And this is one of the reasons of inflation. Like I said, normally the ECB will um, try to regulate it. And the third reason is also one reason what will be influenced by uh, the central bank in, in Europe is ECB. And in the US it's, uh, for example, the Fed. They can also flood the market with more money, means printing more money, money loses uh, value, inflation rises. So these are the three points um, for increase of inflation. And now very important, what can you do to protect your own money against inflation? Normally in a range of uh, 2 to 5% that inflation um, can um, easily with an investment in stocks or different ETFs uh, be managed. Now it's, uh, I think, more difficult because we have a very high inflation and also companies will suffer under this high inflation rate. For example, in a normal inflation when prices uh, price are rising, then these prices you will receive also higher as a consumer. And um, so the company itself makes more for a profit or the same profit uh, like before. But with a very high inflation, what we have now, I think a lot of companies will struggle more. So it's very important to choose the right companies uh, to invest. Normally now, as the markets are going down, you can also get some really good companies for a lower price, I think. 
But in general, in stocks, one of the most important tools, or also ETFs or other investments, is the diversification. So you need to invest in many different uh, things, also in uh, different markets if possible. If you still look for the right uh, broker, you can see here our last uh, video for brokers um, and how to choose the best broker comparing to um, uh, commissions or also like a service itself. Yeah, can stocks be a good uh, protection for inflation? Like I said, it depends also here. Diversification is very important. If you want to see more about um, stocks or equities, you can also check the video here. And I think especially for smaller accounts or uh, if you don't have the money to invest in different stocks at the same time, ETF can be also a very good uh, protection for inflation. To know more about ETFs, also check the video here above. And in our um, description, you will find all information also for our ETF playbook, what you can download from our website. Yeah, ETF stocks and especially like um, gold or silver, also real estate can be a very interesting investment um, to make sure that you protect yourself against inflation. Like I said, with the normal inflation of 3-4%, um, what we had in the past, you just need to make sure that you will get this from your investments approximately um, through one year. For example, the DAX um, made 8% average um, per year. So this is something um, as an ETF where you can normally easily invest to um, yeah, protect yourself against um, inflation. Yeah, all in all, we have to uh, um, summarize that at the moment it's quite difficult because inflation is still too high. Central banks, they already started to do something against it. They raised um, interest. Um, so this can be one good reason that people will still leave also their money on the account. And with a higher interest, um, normally it's an instrument to stop inflation in order to stop it, um, to decrease it, what is very important at the moment. Um, but I can see also good opportunities, uh, good chances uh, for investments. Um, so just make sure that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos hopefully we can show some really good examples here and um, stay safe hope to see you soon um, till next time thank you